Hello my friends and welcome to the installation procedure for Battletech Extended 3025. Now, if you've modded your game, of course, you're going to have to follow the clean uninstall procedure before you begin this installation. However, if you just have the base game, unusually for a mod package, you can keep all your save games. And you can keep Battletech updating. So... The only uh, preparatory step that you have to do is to just go to Battletech, go to Properties, and turn off the uh, Cloud Saves. And that is it. That's all you need to do. Um, and that's just because you want control over your save games on your local computer, um, as with any mod package, in case you decide that you want to install something else. But other than that, you do not need to turn off updates. You can carry on updating the game, and the author has told me that all you need to do is re-inject mod tech when the game updates. Um, you might have to download the latest version of mod tech each time, but then your uh, extended 2013 uh, mod pack will continue to work throughout various versions of the game. Okay, so to get Battletech 3025 extended installed, you first obviously need to download it. I'll provide all the links in the descriptions, but it's only three items. It's uh, the mod package itself, which you can get off Nexus Mods. As always, you will need an account to download it. The community asset bundle, and as always, mod tech. So, uh, once you've downloaded these three, just save them to your desktop somewhere. Anywhere will do. Now go to Battletech, go to Properties. Go to local files, go to browse local files. You will need to create a directory in here called mods. So right click, new folder, name it mods. Open it up. Open up the mod tech package, which you've saved to your desktop using your preferred zip file program. I uh, use 7-zip. So now in mods, your only directory is mod tech. Open up the mod tech directory, right click, run as administrator, the mod tech injector. And wait for it to finish, then press any key to continue. Okay, so now that that's done, you need to install the community asset bundle. So open that up. Take the three files and drag them onto your desktop. This is absolutely massive, by the way, this bundle. It's like 2.1 GB, so it will take you some considerable time to download it. This is why I have pre-downloaded it for this uh, installation guide. Okay, so you've got the three items on your desktop. Right-click the uh, executable, run it as administrator. Hit, hit next, accept the agreement, hit next. Confirm that this is the correct directory for your Battletech, which it is. Hit next. Click install. And if you go back to your mods folder, you will see that the community asset mods will start appearing in your mods folder one by one. This will also take some time because it's, uh, it's an enormous package. So we'll just wait for this to install. By the way, this uh, lovely desktop uh, background picture has been supplied to me by the author for the making of this guide so thank you very much and you can get uh, this background and many like it on the um, extended 20, uh, 30 25 uh, discord I will provide the link to the discord in the description as well so if you want to go there and pick up these desktop backgrounds you can there is quite a few of them um, they've just uh, they were just made on uh, Saturday, Sunday, when I was uh, discussing the making of this guide with, uh, uh, with the author. Half, half something, I forget the exact name, that's really bad of me. Harry. Harry. I knew it was like something that was spelt slightly off. Still not as difficult as, uh, Excel MNR 2PK or whatever his name is. <laughs> I love you, mate, but you need a better nickname. <laughs> or at least one that's easier to say. Okay, so we're still installing the community asset bundle here. There's uh, there's no way around this, I'm afraid. 
this is on a solid state drive by the way so if you're on a hard disk you will be waiting some time so yeah um, you can keep all your old save games from the vanilla game because uh, extended uh, 3025 is a vanilla expansion um, unlike most of the other mod packs it's actually using the uh, the base game mech lab um, and due to that you can basically load a base game save game or a load a base game campaign once you've installed this mod pack and you can just carry on playing it and you'll all the extra stuff that is included in the mod pack will uh, just simply become available the only thing is is that once you have played a base game save game on extended 3025 that save game will no longer work in the base game so you can't go back you can only go forward and it does mean that if you later uninstall this and you want to go back to the base game, you will still have to wipe all your save games um, that you played extended 3025 on. However, um, if you keep your vanilla save games and then you you load one uh, in the expansion and then you you know you play it and you save it again, your old save games that predate the expansion will still work in the base game. So just delete all of your new save games that you played extended 3025 on, delete those, and then you can go back to the base game and keep your previous save games. So a little bit of fiddling around, but basically this mod pack does not um, ruin saves like many of the other mod packs do. By necessity, because the other mod packs change quite a lot. Whereas this one just adds loads of extra mechs and equipment and items and stuff, but keeps the base game uh, gameplay. Okay, so the bundle's installed, which is great. So now we just need to install the mod pack, and it's very simple. You just open up the uh, Battletech extended folder, and then just copy all of these into your mods directory. Now you just want to make sure that you find a, an open space to copy the whole lot into so you don't accidentally dump them inside a folder. And it may ask you to replace files. And if it does, just say yes. It hasn't in my case because I'm doing this from a completely clean install. Oh, there we go. It's asking me anyway. Replace. Just click replace if it asks you to. Boom. And now that should be it. Should be as simple as that. And we'll just load up the game to check that it works. So just to demonstrate the point, I believe I saved a base game save, and I'm going to load it. At least I think I did. <laughs> I hope so. As always, your first uh, run will um, take a little while to load. Sweet. And there we go. It's all installed. I did not actually save any save games. I did actually clean out everything. But what you can do is... So it's uh, this mod pack is basically the base game with a load of extra equipment. So you can actually see what the extra equipment is by going into the mech bay. And that pretty much sums up what is in the mod pack, more or less. Although there are some other things like better AI um, and a few other quality of life things. So here you go. If you actually go to the skirmish mech bay, you can see all the things in here. Annihilator. See what else? Maki. Marauder. But it's all base game configurations or stock configurations according to the lore. 
So if you just want a bigger, badder, fatter uh, base game, then this is the uh, this is the mod pack for you. Okay, and that is it. I hope this helped somebody out there, and I hope you enjoy BattleTech Extended 3025 if that is your thing. And I will see you guys next time.